Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to do part B of the Al-Bahar um, Al uh, facade study. Uh, this is the kinetic facade that we were working on, so as you can see, from when we last saw it off, um, if we just move the point around, we just get this uh, facade study that actually kind of kinetically moves. If this, let's say, this point was the sun, it actually starts to open up where the sunlight would enter. And you can use software like uh, Diva in order to get the real-time uh, sun study. So you can actually plug in a sun path from Diva and actually create uh, an actual uh, sun study. So we're going to delete that for right now. We're not going to go over that for today, though. But <clears throat> today we're actually going to make this more have some depth. Because right now, if we go in perspective view, it just looks very flat. In top view, it looks beautiful, but it doesn't really read anything in actual three-dimensional view. So today, we're going to actually do that. We're going to actually move this point up in order to give it some depth. So let's do that real quick. So if we remember, this point is the uh, CCX point. So we have to find that point and kind of uh, understand how it's there. So. Let's see. Let's look back at our script and understand. And I'm going to let you guys know as a disclaimer, I haven't actually done this before. So you'll be going along with me the same exact way I am, just processing it. Sorry about that. Just got a drink of water. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a little bit hurting. Um, so we have this CCX of script, and we know that's the center. So what we can do... There's, there's ways we could do this. I'm just thinking which would be the easiest way so it doesn't affect all of this uh, mess we've done. You can see there's a lot plugging into this. And actually, I'm going to clean up the script a little bit. Just delete this. We don't need that. Alright. Just one last thing to connect to. I'm just making sure to see what I have to connect to. That's just a panel. This is most likely, yeah, that plane. All right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. So what I can do is let me see what this one is. Let me see what is connected to CCX. So I'm going to do a move component, obviously. So this one's going to be a move component, and we're going to plug this into here. <clears throat> we're going to move it in the Z direction, and let's say it's one inch for right now, and it's defaulted to a factor of one, as you can see, one locally defined value at one. We're just going to leave it at that for right now, and we're just going to plug this into here, independently from everything else. <coughs> so what we're going to do now is actually skip all this uh, attractor point stuff that we did, and actually plug in where the CCX was originally plugged in. So here, trail it back, and to slot, I'm assuming slot C, and plug that in. Now, it may mess up the geometry a bit for the first part. So, yeah, it's actually really screwing it up right now. So, let's do the other end. Um, let's see how that works. Um, this point, let's see where it goes to in here. goes to C as well, so we're going to plug that in. And let that load, and voila. Now let's see what that looks like. And that's pretty high up, so one inch is huge, right? So let's not do one inch. Let's do 0 0.5 right now. Half an inch, right? That's half of that. So let it load. And we can actually change this number to something a little bit lower than that. So let's do 0 0.25. Let's just do a half of that now. Okay, press OK. And it's just loading. And as you can see, we can go in front view, and you can see there is some sort of depth now the model is reading. Now it's a little confusing because it's reading all this other uh, faced geometry. So let me see if I can turn that off. Right now it's just reading this finalized stuff. So maybe if I turn this off. Nope. <coughs> Right now, it's just reading uh, the geometry right now that's being moved. Or it's reading the bottom one, as you can see. 
and it doesn't seem like I can turn it off for right, for right now. I can't find it, but as you can see, it is working. It's creating that three-dimensional shape. Um, it's actually moving that point up. So all we did was a slight modification of just that move component and understanding how it uh, really kind of relates to the sun, or not sun, the the three dim how it relationship three dimensional. Sorry. Let me see if there's anything else we can do to kind of beef this up. Make sure it looks a little bit as realistic. I don't think there's anything else that we can do to make this more realistic. So I'm actually going to bake it to see what it looks like. So we're going to go to... Um, I want to find the point that I like. I want to find something that looks pretty decent with these points. Um, I'll pick that for right now. And we're actually going to bake and do yes please group. And now it's going to create the geometry in right now. And we're going to move it here, uh, go to perspective view, and then click this zoom selected button. And then we're going to get this. Uh, put the viewing in shaded. And now we can see it actually in action. But there's a problem here. So you can see it's not reading fully solid. It's still creating these faces, but it's not, it's not an actual solid. It's just faces. Now, yes, you can go into here and maybe do a cap, but see, it's not really working very well. So, instead of that, instead of this, <clears throat> let's try capping it in a grasshopper and see what that does. So, I said we cap holes, and then we plug this geometry in. But as you see, we're reading an error. Um, um, capping algorithm failed to re return a result. Let's try the cap holes, etc. And both of those are not reading correctly. So it has to do with one of these planes that's created underneath it. Because you can see it's creating those um, these exist existing planes underneath it. It's not really like this one, this one, and this one. So you gotta find where that's located. So it seems to be these ones. Right, right? Hmm. Let me see. So it creates those, this one and the one on top. So it creates that surface and then moves it up as well. Okay, so it seems I shifted this one. So I'm actually going to disconnect. So I made an error in my modeling. Technically, this move should have done it all correctly and everything should have been fine. But uh, as you can see, um, the CCX is actually still connected. If you see this kind of faint green connected to there. So we're actually just going to quickly disconnect that. Um, sorry, let me put that in view for you guys. We're just going to quickly disconnect it from the curve curve component. And that should fix it. Should. Yep. And now it fixed it. Cool. <coughs> now, let's try. Right now, they should all be joined. We did a rep join. Let's try a cap. Maybe that'll work here. Alright, now it seems to work. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Now let's bake it, and let's see how that looks. Let's see how this geometry looks. I'm interested to see. Oopsie. Um, how does that look? Wow, that looks nice. So it actually becomes a solid now. It's not just reading as a surface as it was before. It's actually articulating this, uh, this point here and understanding the the actual geometry is a solid and not reading as just these lone surfaces that it was before. Awesome, awesome. So if we go in rendered view real quick, we can kind of understand this. Um, wow, that looks really weird. Okay, we're going back to shade view. So yeah, now it's reading more like an actual solid, like how it should read. So we're going to click the save button just to make sure that's saved. Now that's really, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing I could probably teach is mapping this to a surface, which uh, if you guys want that, I can uh, teach you guys that. But for right now, this is just a quick study on the facade and how it actually uh, was it interacts with the, the points. So but yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, yeah, this script will be in the uh, Google Drive link I have linked below in the description. So yeah guys, and thank you guys for watching, I uh, hope you guys have a good day, and the next lesson will be on something along the lines of this.
but a different it, it's basically the same concept of the tractor points but it's different so get excited it's gonna be cool so yeah guys thank you guys for watching